Hello guys and welcome back to si Ibak Tutorial Channel and ngayon naman, ang i-discuss natin ay situation number 19 from si Board Exam, May 2022 for Structural Engineering and Construction. So, kung na-enjoy ninyo ang ating problem or situation number 1 to 18, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Okay? So, the signage 2.4 by 1.0 meter is loaded by a wind force 4 kN as shown in the figure. Given the following details, where A is equivalent to 0.4 meters, H is equal to 8 meters, and the diameter of pole is equivalent to 150 uh, millimeters, determine the shearing stress of the pole at the base, determine the bending stress of the pole, and determine the torsional stress of the pole. Actually, this kind of problem is pang ano, um, strength of materials or mechanics of deformable bodies. Doon kasi natin, di ba, uh, natutunan yung different types of stresses sa chapter 1 ng strema. And yung torsion naman is, ano, sa chapter 3 ng strema. And yung bending stress is sa uh, chapter 5. Okay, ng strength of materials. Okay, so isa-isa natin silang isolve. Okay, pinakita na naman na natin dito yung mga, ano, mga details natin. So, uh, so, gawin pa rin dito na ang ating ano, base sa pole is naka-fix. Okay? And since naka-3 dito, ibig sabihin, meron tayong reaction dito na tatlo. Okay? So, meron tayong reaction dito na, uh, let's say, yes, uh, let's say this is X, this is Y, and this is Z. So, sabihin natin ito ay Fx. Yan. Then, ito naman is Fy. And ito naman is Fc. E kaso, yung ating 4 kN is ano lang, parallel sa ating x-axis. Therefore, yung ating Fy and Fc is magiging equivalent to 0. So, wala silang i -re okay? So, ngayon, kung sa number 1, ang pinapahanap dito ay shear stress. Okay? Na kung saan ang shear stress is tau, which is equivalent to shear force over shear area. At ang masishear dito or magkakaroon ng shearing contact or sliding is yung ating pole. Yan. So, ito yung shearing area. Okay? So, yung ating shearing area is equivalent to pi d squared over 4. Ang diameter is 150. So, 150 squared over 4. So, this is 5625 pi millimeter squared. So, pacheck natin. Ayan. And then, yung ating shear force, okay, isa lang naman ang magkikreate ng shearing sa ating base, which is yung ating Fx, na by summation of forces at x is equivalent to 0, obvious na ang i-release lamang ng ating Fx is yung ating 4 kilo newton. Kaya, yung ating Fx, which is yung ating shearing force V, is equivalent to 4 kilo newton. Kaya, yung ating shearing stress is Okay, V na 4 kilo newton. So, gawin natin siyang newton. Uh, gawin natin siyang newton. So, 4 times 10 raised to 3 newton over area, which is 5625 pi millimeter squared. Kaya yung ating shear stress is 4 times 10 raised to 3 over 5625 pi. Again, so this is 0.226. 0.226. Mega Pascal. Pero ang answer na nandito is 0.301 Mega Pascal. Kasi based sa reference na nabasa namin, uh, naglagay siya ng ano, reduction factor dun sa ano, shear stress. Okay, so ang ginawa niya rito, this is 0.75 of shear stress is equivalent to V over A. Ayan, so naglagay pa siya ng reduction factor na 0.75 kapag shear. Okay, so kapag ganito ang ginawa natin, ang makukuha natin dyan na Shear stress is, okay, i-divide lang natin ito ng buo ng 0.75 and doon lilitaw yung 0.301 or 0.302. Yan, mega pascal. So, hindi lang kami sure kung ano yung ano, uh, tamang sagot dito kasi wala namang sinabi na gagamit tayo ng reduction factor dito sa problem. Kaya hindi kami sure kung kailangan natin ito. Okay, pero based sa uh, strength of materials kasi, hindi naman natin siya nilalagyan ng reduction factor kapag ganito yung mga problem. Okay? So, I think, uh, dito na lang muna tayo. Yan, ito yung gawin final answer. Pero, if ever na ang gusto makuha ng problem is yung, ano, allowable shear stress. So, ito yan. 
actually it is not allowable shear stress eh. uh, this is um, parang nominal yan nominal shear stress to kasi kung ang gusto nating makuha is allowable shear stress ito yan yan ito yung allowable shear, shear stress natin so ito yan ito yung tatawagin natin as the nominal shear stress yan okay okay so number two tayo Determine the bending stress of the pole. So, syempre, saan ba tayo magkakaroon ng bending moment? Dito sa base natin. So, number 2. Yung ating, ano kasi, uh, 4 kN kapag dito tayo nakaharap, ayan, ito yung ating uh, point of view, may kita natin na yung ating pole is nakaganito. Ayan. Tapos, ito yung pole natin. Tapos, ito yung ating 4 kN. Na kung saan, Based dito sa ating perspective, iikot siya ng clockwise. Kaya yung ating magiging uh, bending moment reaction at the base is counterclockwise. So, this is the moment. So, kung bending stress tayo, that is FB, is equivalent to MC over I. So, yung ating moment niyan is equivalent to 4 multiplied by, ano ba ang distance ng ating ano, 4 kN from the base? That is 8 meters plus kalahati ng 1. That is 0.5 na. So, 8.5. 8.5. So, this is 4 multiplied by 8.5. 34. 34 kilo newton meter. Then, yung ating C is magaling dun sa ating area. Which is kalahati ng 150. So, that is 75 millimeters. Then, ang ating I... Our moment of inertia for the circle is pi r raised to 4 over 4. Ang r natin ay kalahate ng 150, so that is 75. So, um, 75 raised to 4 over 4. Then, ah, malaka siya, no? Then, multiplied by pi. Ah, yes, ano pala ito ng moment of inertia? So, 24.85 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. So, makukuha na natin yung ating bending stress. So, ang ating moment is 34. Convert natin into newton millimeter. So, times 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter. Then, multiplied by C na 75 millimeters over I 24.85 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. So, cancel to. Magiging millimeter squared na lang sa baba. Kaya ang ating bending stress is megapascal. 34 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 75 over 24.85 times 10 raised to 6. So this is 102.62 megapascal. Then last, number 3, ang pinapakuha rito ay torsional stress. So, uh, kung maalam tayo sa strength of materials, alam natin na ang torsional stress na tinutukoy dito is yung maximum shear stress na makukos ng torsion na magmumula sa ating 4 kN na wind load. Okay? So, kasi um, kapag torsion kasi, diba, yan, pakaroon tayo ng torsion, yung torsion na yan is tinitwist niya, diba? Tinitwist niya yung ating pole and yung twisting na yan is magkakos ng shearing stress dun sa cross-sectional area ng ating pole kaya shear stress and ang ating equation for maximum shear stress sa torsion is equivalent to torque multiplied by radius r over j or polar moment of inertia so ang ating torque nyan is 4 kN multiplied by okay kalahati ng 1.4 is 1.2 plus 0.4 so, torque is equivalent to 4 multiplied by 1.2 plus 0.4. Yan. So, gaganito yung ating ano? Yung ating load. So, ilan to? 4 multiplied by 1.2 plus 0.4. So, 6.4 kilo newton meter. Then, ang ating R is uh, 75 millimeters. Then, yung ating J or polar moment of inertia ng solid shaft is equivalent to pi d raised to 4 over 32. So, pi 
D, 150 raised to 4 over 32. 49.701 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to 4. So, ito yung ating shear stress. So, 6.4, convert natin into Newton millimeters times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by R, 75 over J na 49.701 times 10 raised to 6. So, this is 9.66 megapascal. Yan. Okay? So, yun nga, since nag-review kayo, dapat maalam rin talaga kayo or at least naalala ninyo yung mga concept na to. Kasi nga, ba sabi ko nga kanina, ang shearing stress is actually na aral na natin sa ating chapter 1 ng strength of materials. Itong bending stress is galing sa chapter 5. Then, yung ating torsional stress is galing sa chapter 3. So, kung gusto ninyong ma-review yung inyong sarili para sa mga topic na nabanggit ko, pwede nyo i-visit yung ating mga playlist sa YouTube. Punta lamang kayo sa Mechanics of Deformable Bodies. So, i-click nyo lang yan. Then, punta kayo sa Chapter 1, Normal Stress. Ah, okay, dito pala. Sa Chapter 1, Shear and Bearing Stress para sa Shear Stress or concept ng Shear Stress. Then, dun naman sa Bending Stress, punta kayo sa Chapter 5. Chapter 5, ayan. So, chapter 5, bending stress. Then, sa torsion naman is chapter 3. Ito. Strength of materials, chapter 3, torsion in circular shock. Para mabalikan ninyo at maalala ninyo yung concept na meron dun sa, uh, or meron dito sa ating mga problem na ganito. Okay? So, this is our situation number 19. For uh, structural engineering and construction came from Seaboard exam, May 2022. So, kung nag-enjoy kayo na panoorin at Natuto kayo dito, dito sa ating situation number 19. You may subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye!